Hello ladies and gentlemen, Keaton here and welcome to this week's look at the latest nuclear throne update. I almost forgot how to say that because it's been like almost a month since I've last had to say that. But anyway, yes, we are back, Blambeer are back, and boy are they back in a big way. Now, I'm just going to say right off the bat, there's no new content this week. Um, so we will be foregoing the usual uh, format, but there's still a lot to talk about. So uh, let's just quickly get through that. First up. The game has been switched over to Game Maker Studio. Now, for those of you who don't know what that means, uh, that means Vlambeer have moved the game from an older version of Game, game Maker to the brand new latest version, which means better stability. And the biggest news is it's finally available for Mac and Linux users. So if you're a Mac and Linux user who has been watching the, you know, Nuclear Throne videos and been like, oh, I want to play that so bad. Good news. You can finally get it yourself and experience the everything that there is to experience in Nuclear Throne yourself. It's so good. That is exciting in itself. But it doesn't just end there. I mean, if you're looking at the footage right now, you can just see that it is so much more well optimized. Visually, it's just so much more smooth and it's it's much more clean. And I can tell you this right now that I think that the performance thing is actually going to help a lot of players out because on my very first run through the game, I pretty much almost looped and on, on video now. And... For anyone who's been following these videos, you know, <laughs> that, that's that's pretty that's pretty good. So there are a couple of bugs because Vlambeer are still getting used to the way that, you know, uh, Game Maker Studio works. So don't be too surprised if you run into some of them. Uh, the known problems listed are some enemies, quote unquote, states will switch and sometimes it'll trigger the death but they won't actually die um, that's something i've personally experienced so that's a thing gamepad states do not save at the end of the game and boss intros don't work at the moment if i can just throw my opinion there for a second i kind of like there's there, there's no boss intros i i realize that they're going to need to be in but it's it's nice to not have my gameplay interrupted because the boss has entered i don't know maybe that's just me whatever but yeah so that's pretty much the update in itself Vlambeer will be at PAX this year so they highly highly suggest that you watch the Twitch TV stream on Saturday at 2 p.m. Eastern time I think I do believe that's the time but I would definitely put the proper time in the description so please check the description below for the proper time if I am wrong <laughs> But yes, overall, I have to say that I know some people are probably going to be disappointed that there's no new content, but this is still a very, very good and necessary update. Uh, it, it fixed performance so well. And and the other aspect is it's it's finally come to Mac and Linux. That, that's just really, really good for uh, the, the game itself because that spreads awareness that it's other people who don't use, you know, strictly PC stuff to to experience the same things that we've had the opportunity to, to experience. So it's it's a really awesome update and it's, it's it really gets us ready for what's going to come in the future. So, yeah, it might not be everybody's cup of tea, but it's still a very good sign of things to come. And for those of you who are kind of confused as to where did update number 20? go i didn't forget how to count update number 20 was actually released on the 1st of april and as you may already have put together if you're not you know following this usually Vlambeer released a first person version of nuclear throne on april fools as a joke uh personally i found it really awesome to play so they counted that as update number 20 and they counted this as update number 21. So I'm going by their numbers. But yeah, if you haven't seen the first person nuclear throne experience, uh, you can check out our previous video. Link to the video is in the description below. And yeah, that about wraps it up this week. Again, not a huge update, still very important update. They really do seem to have something exciting to announce at PAX. So definitely tune into the live stream to see it yourself and then freak out about it on Twitter, whether it's good or bad, and be like, oh my god, Nuclear Throne is either ascending to godlike status or is just getting terrible. I don't know, you know, 
usual internet things. Anyway, that'll do it for me this week. I just wanted to waste time talking so you could see the beautiful performance in action. But yeah, let me know what you guys think of the update. How is it performing for you? Are you a Mac user or a Linux user? And are you excited to finally have Nuclear Throne in your hands, so to speak, and experience what everyone else has been experiencing? I know that kind of sounds rude, but you know, you know what I mean. Anyway, let me know. Uh, I would love to know how you guys are feeling about this brand new Nuclear Throne update after it's been like a month. And yeah, let me know. I, I would love to gauge the uh, Nuclear Throne community. So. So, so yes, if you have not purchased the game, if you would like to learn more about Nuclear Throne, please head over to NuclearThrone.com. And if you would like to get more in-depth information as usual, please check out the Nuclear Throne Wiki. Links to all of that good stuff and more can be found in the description below. And yes, as usual, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope it was informative. And I will see you next time. Bye!